I have a wall. You have a wall. We all have walls. And that wall represents an obstacle. That thing that you're afraid to do, but that you know deep inside that you must do. You have to do. And in one particular case, well, it was for me an actual wall. I'm an improviser, trained in comedy, and at one theater where I do comedy, there was a 12-foot wall in the stage. And in improv, we're trained to yes and, to say yes to everything that comes our way. Yes, I'll do it. Yes, I'll do this. Yes, whatever you need. Well, this wall represented my white whale because at 5'3", I was the most vertically challenged member of my Try Anything band of brothers and sisters. But this 12-foot wall scared the crap out of me. I did not want to not do it because all my friends had scaled that wall during shows and dropped from them. Never mind that they were much taller than me and men. I couldn't let that stand, but I was afraid that if I dropped from that wall during a show, I have a bad knee, that I would get hurt, I would embarrass the crap out of myself, and I would bring that show to a screeching halt, because everybody in the audience would be like, no, it's fine. so what do you do? Well, I said, that's it, wall. You're going down, or I am. I am going to make you my bitch. You've mocked me for the last time. So a show came that I was playing, and in that sh show, I had a moment, and I looked at that wall. And I was about to climb that wall, and at the last second, I chickened out. And after that show, all my friends said, Kathy, it doesn't matter. You had a great show. And I said, that's easy for you to say. You've all climbed that wall. I said, it doesn't matter, high five. But it did matter, and it bothered me, and it bothered me. And like Captain Ahab, that became my white whale because it was more than a wall. It represented all the times that I was afraid to ask for a raise, that I was afraid to go apply for that job that I knew was perfect for. It represented all the times I never asked a boy out that I liked, and turned out later that I found out that if I had asked him, he would have said, well, hell yes, I would have gone out with you. So this wall represented all those fears. So again, about a month later, in a show, I was going to do it this time. I was going to scale this wall. It was my Everest. And at that last second, I chickened out again. And again, my friend said, Kathy, it doesn't matter. High five, good show. No, it matters. It was a good show, but it wasn't a good show because I didn't scale the wall. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Now, here's the thing. There was nothing that required me to scale that wall in the show. I could have had a great show, I had a great life, not thought about that wall. But no, that wall represented too much to me. But if I fell and I got hurt, it was gonna be more than my ego bruise. Well, I had a third chance, because this time it was a party. It was a, third, a party for a 13-year-old girl and her family had rented out the theater. And the theater was filled with 13-year-old girls and family members and kids. And I thought, that's it, this is my chance. This is my do or die moment. <clears throat> and we're trained to say yes to everything and my fellow improvisers knew how important scaling this wall was for me. So as I had my hands at the top of this 12 foot wall and I was about to let go, they were there to catch me, right? No. And I fell on my ass. <laughs> and it fell and it hurt. And I sat there dumbfounded and stunned and it felt like an eternity and in reality, I'm sure it was actually probably just a few seconds of shame, and my butt hurt, and my ego hurt, but then I picked myself up, and I dusted myself off, and I looked at the audience who had felt completely silent at this point, and I went, ta-da, I'm okay! And the audience erupted into, into applause and, and shouts of like, yay! And after the show, all these 13-year-old kids came up to me and high-fived me and said, great show. And I knew that I earned it, and it was a great show. And here's the thing, everybody. We all have walls. I have walls. You have walls. Each one of us does. And I'm here to tell you, friends, it's time to scale those walls, whatever they may be. Because even if the outcome isn't what you hoped it was, what matters is that you try. And I'm telling you, 
there is growth on the other side of that wall. Thank you. Thank you very much. There's only one name left. Then so I guess I may know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right.